my life way, I'd like to share with you what uh, God has done for me. About three months ago, I fell and twisted my knee, and I've been in pain ever since. So I got so bad the last couple of weeks that it would wake me up at night, and uh, I was developing a limp. But last Sunday night at Pursuit, I went over to the uh, healing team and got prayed for. I didn't feel anything happen when they prayed for me, but it did happen. When I, when I turned and walked away, I had no more pain. God had healed my knee and taken away my pain. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I was actually in a meeting with Garrett, and he had asked me if I had gotten my prayer language. And, you know, I thought I did when I was younger, and I let the enemy tell me a lie and say that I didn't. So Garrett asked me to start praying, and which is kind of weird for me, because I've not actually just started praying randomly when somebody asked me to. So I just thanked God for what I had and my family, you know, my team. And out of nowhere, I just started to confess. And almost immediately after I confessed, the tongues came. I, I started speaking in tongues and it, it felt like fire coming out of my mouth. I was cleaning my room and I found this paper and it said, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice in our cloud and it fun. I can do all things through Christ who, <clears throat> who strengthens me. I am confident. So I, I prayed for my prayer language and I was like, Jesus, can I please get my prayer language? And then out of no, nowhere, I just started saying it. Hey church family, it's Casey Jackson here. Uh, I just want to share with you guys uh, something that happened to me about a month ago. Uh, we were up on the stage practicing for uh, Christmas and uh, we'd gone through about 30 minutes of practice and I was pretty exhausted to be honest and uh, kind of tired, ready to get home, see my, my kids and wife. And uh, Just in, halfway through practice uh, we were going through, I think it was all hell King Jesus and I just had this moment where I really, you know, this happens to me often, as you know, in worship, I'll, it'll get me. I'll really start thinking about what we're singing about and just the Jesus, His face, the presence of His face, all the things that He's done for us. And sometimes I'll just uh, lose it. I'll get lost in it. And that happened. Garrett kind of noticed um, that it got to me a little bit. So he came over uh, after we kind of finished the song there and, and he laid his hand on my chest and he said, Case, do you want more? And, uh, and to be honest, I was thinking, man, I'm kind of tired, honestly, you know. And so I was just kind of looking him in the eye, and I didn't know what to say, you know. And yes, I want more, but, you know, right now I'm kind of tired. Something came over me. And uh, on it, I, I collapsed. Um, I started breathing heavy, and it was really kind of a fog. And I feel like the Spirit fell on me in a heavy way. I remember in that moment, I didn't care about me. And I didn't. All the striving ceased. I wasn't trying to be a good husband and a good father or running my business well. I wasn't worried about being a good worship leader. And I think I was there for maybe 45 minutes. It was a long time. I was on fire. My whole body was radiating. And I remember feeling Katie's hands behind me. And they felt like fire on me. And uh, just in that moment, I felt so heavy. And at some point, I felt like I was floating. It was a very unreal experience. I've never really had an experience like that. And when I finally came to, um, the lights were down. At some point, somebody turned the lights down, and when I came on to, the rest of the, the worship team were laying down and around and in prayer. Uh, Nick Stitt was playing some guitar and uh, just real something simple, and it was this beautiful moment. A good friend of mine, Kelly Schweitzer, uh, was there, and uh, Kelly's had some back problems um, recently, and he's one of the greatest guys I know, good, good man, just humble. Uh, I laid my hand on his back, kind of, my middle finger was kind of in his spine, and these two fingers were on his back muscles, and I could feel his back muscles firing, like twitching, like this. And uh, I just began to just pray for him, and it was kind of a repetitive, repetitive prayer. And all of a sudden, uh, for the first time in my life, I started to uh, 
kind of prayer language, to pray in tongues for him in this moment. And uh, I need to back this up a little bit. I've never prayed in tongues. Uh, I've, always, I've been a worship leader for maybe 14 years. I always wanted to pray in tongues. I always tried. I felt like I should because I was a worship leader. And so I would try. and It would just come out sounding really weird. And uh, I was kind of like, hey, is this a real thing? Am I really doing this? Or, uh, But in that moment, again, I didn't care what anybody thought. I didn't care. I was not conscious of my own. And I began to uh, pray in tongues. And it was a powerful moment for me.